Remember last week's incredible pirate attack on a cruise liner? Those pirates have been busy since then. Now, this picture was taken by a passenger on board the Seaborne Spirit last Saturday. Look at that. Armed men fired machine guns and rockets at the luxury vessel off the eastern East African coast. Now, they were eventually outrun. The Spirit is the only cruise ship that we know of to face such an attack. But it's hardly a rare occurrence for cargo ships in those waters. In fact, this year alone, officials report more than 30 acts of piracy in those waters. Yeah, according to information, they have AK-47 uh, and uh, propelled grenades and some crook uh, weapons, heavy artillery. Mm -hmm. uh, they have also, uh, according to a picture a, a, a photograph by our friends down there, they, over, uh, they have also have um, uh, um, uh, a weapon of which can uh, bring down an aeroplane. What is the warning uh, to captains? We are warning them to stay away 200 nautical miles from the Somali coast because these people are coming very more powerfully because they can go over 130 nautical miles away. So it seems that they are being bolded and more, um, more ambitious in the effort to hijacking ships for ransom and to loot. Amazing. Well, the crew of the Seaborne Spirit used an unusual defense to help ward off those pirates. It was developed for the military after the 2000 attack on the USS Cole. Christopher Lawrence has that story. Terrorists are known to constantly change their tactics. So this San Diego inventor is always thinking one step ahead. Who wants to catch the USS Cole after the hull's blown in the side? I want to get it in advance so the hull doesn't happen. Terrorists bombed the destroyer five years ago. Pirates attacked a luxury cruise liner this past week. No casualties on the seaboard spirit. 17 sailors killed on board the coal. And I believe the event would not have happened if there had been a device like an LRAD back in the year 2000. LRAD stands for Long Range Acoustic Device. Think of a laser with sound substituting for light. Woody Norris and his American technology team created it. And when pirates attacked the Seaborne Spirit with machine guns and grenades, the crew used LRAD to defend their ship. Here's how it works. The LRAD shoots an intensely focused beam of sound. Outside the cone, you can hear it, but just in a distance. But as I move into the beam, even in its lowest setting, that was loud but just a few feet on the other side and you can barely even hear it. It's that precise. And that was on its lowest setting. It gets 10,000 times louder. Cruise ships have it, so does the military. But say the troops needed to actually communicate with insurgents or police wanted to disperse a crowd. This little box hooked directly into the LRAD and shoots that same concentrated burst of sound in 26 languages. So if I wanted to say, lay your weapon on the ground in Arabic. <laughs> Norris is already imagining the next attack and how to stop it. That's what inventing is, really. For a man dedicated to exploring sound, the one he doesn't want to hear is this one. Chris Lawrence, CNN, San Diego.